Notice how some metals get rusted after some time due to exposure to water and air. This implies that no matter how beautiful it looked when it was first made, it loses that beauty because of its ability to rust or corrode. However, with discovery of electroplating with use, which uses electrolysis, metals can be covered to prevent them from rusting. Now, electrolysis is a process by which electric current is passed through a substance to effect a chemical change. The chemical change is one in which the substance loses or gains an electron, oxidation or reduction. The process is carried out in an electrochemical cell or electrolytic cell, an apparatus consisting of positive and negative electrodes held apart and dipped into a solution containing positively and negatively charged ions. The substance to be transformed may form the electrode, may constitute the solution, or may be dissolved in the solution. Electric current at its electrons, moving electrons, enters through the negatively charged electrode, cathode. Components of the solution travel to this electrode, combine with the electrons and are transformed, reduced. The products can be neutral elements or new molecules. Components of the solution also travel to the other electrode, anode, give up their electrons and are transformed, oxidized, to a neutral element or new molecule. If the substance to be transformed is the electrode, the reaction is often one in which electrode dissolves by giving up electrons. Electrolysis is used extensively in metallurgical processes, such as in extraction, electroweaning, or purification, electrorefining of metals from ores or compounds, and in deposition of metals from solution, electroplating. Metallic sodium and chlorine gas are produced by the electrolysis of molten sodium chloride. Electrolysis of an aqueous solution of sodium chloride yields sodium hydroxide and chlorine gas. Hydrogen and oxygen are produced by the electrolysis of water. Now, the main components required to perform electrolysis are an electrolyte, a substance containing free ions that carry electric current. Now, if the ions are not mobile, as in a solid salt, then electrolysis cannot occur. A direct current supply provides the energy necessary to create or discharge the ions in the electrolyte. Electric current is carried by electrons in the external circuit. Two electrodes, an electrical conductor that provides the physical interface between the electrical circuit providing the energy and the electrolyte. Now, in this lesson, we have done an introduction to electrolysis, and in the next lesson, we will take a much deeper look into the world of electrolysis. Join me in the next lesson.